Hey guys, it's Beaver. So I'm doing a follow up for Miss Natalie Jones. She has been missing since the 5th of this month, July 5th, 2020. She is 27. She's 5 feet, 3 inches tall, 130 pounds. Brown hair with blonde highlights. Her eyes are blue. She was wearing a pink blouse, white shorts, black sandals with a bow. She has tattoos. One says Isaac on her left wrist. The other says Trent on her right wrist. And a star diagram from shoulder to shoulder on her back. Baby footprint on her right foot. The circumstances behind her disappearance or her being missing. Uh, Miss uh, Jones is from Hart County. She was last seen at 12.52 early Sunday morning, July 5th, near 269 River Chase Drive in Alpaca and Jackson's Gap, Alabama. She has been diagnosed as bipolar and schizophrenic, but is not on medications. She drives a hot pink Chevy Cavalier with a blue stripe. Her GA plate is RVE6177. If you have any information, you are asked to call Her County Sheriff's Office at 706 675-3329 675-3329 and of course you can call 1-800-THE-LOST for any missing person case. Now Natalie's family has been out in the community. Um, I saw a video with one of her sisters. She went to her county to put up flyers and um, you know they're really hands-on with the search. I did uh, reach out to one of her siblings, one of her sisters and I asked, I said that, you know, I was doing the video. Is there anything that she wanted to add? And she says, please just add that if she can hear us or see us, that we love her and that we miss her and we are trying to get to her. So I'm going to, at the end of the video, I'm going to leave a news, um, I guess, segment. This came, it came out yesterday. It has another one of her sisters in it. And they go through, you know, exactly what happened. And she talks about, you know, well, we've went through every scenario. Maybe she just needed a break. Maybe this, maybe that. But she has two children. Her cell phone is not pinged at all in days and days and days. These are red flags with or without, you know, anything specifically to her character. These are red flags. She has children. You know, yes, she might have wanted a break, but she wouldn't have gone about it like this. And they are real concerned. Even the law enforcement voices his concerns as well. So please, I encourage everybody to share this. Get Miss Natalie's picture out. Um, this just this community is just shook, and we just got to pray that she is returned safe. And get her picture out there, get her name out there. And, and literally, her car is very, you know, it's not another car like it. You know, the car is vanished. It's hot pink. She painted it herself, as the officer will say. But we just have to get this picture out. And we just got to pray for the best for Miss Natalie and pray for her family. I know that they are just at a complete loss of what to do and what's going on. And we just ask for comfort and we just got to get her word out. I'm going to leave some pictures and stuff. And, you know, y'all watch the news segment and just tell me your thoughts. If y'all have somebody else, you know, a loved one and y'all want some coverage to it, just drop a comment. But more than anything, just get Miss Natalie's picture out, get the word out. You know, um, there's a lot of places a person can go in over a week. Y'all have a good one. For nearly two weeks, and tonight her family is desperately trying to find her. She left Alabama on July 5th, heading for home, but she never made it. News Edge reporter Janice Hughes spoke with a woman's sister and investigators tonight. She can light up a room just with her positivity. It's hard because that 
that light, you know, is, is gone right now. Jessica Bishop says her younger sister, Natalie Jones, is the eternal optimist. But this loving mother to two boys is missing. No contact, no sighting since July 5th. As a family, I think entertained and thought of every possible scenario. Did she just want a break? But then we got to thinking, you know, how devoted of a mother she is. The 27-year-old drove from Heard County to Jackson's Gap, Alabama, to celebrate 4th of July with friends. She left around midnight on the 5th to make the hour and a half or so drive back home. According to Lieutenant Danny Boswell with the Heard County Sheriff's Office, Jones's phone last pinged in Heard County. According to her phone records, had actually made it into Heard County, Georgia. You can be having a conversation and your phone dial and you, you're going to continue driving, so there's no telling where she drove to. Bishop says her sister's phone being off is one of the reasons they believe something could be wrong. For her phone to have just completely stopped for, for that long, it's just out of character for her. Another thing that is puzzling and concerning to family members and investigators is that her car, a bright pink 2002 Chevy Cavalier, hasn't been spotted. The car has Georgia license plate RVE 6177. She painted it herself. And that vehicle is not anywhere to be found. Jones is 5'3 and 130 pounds. She has blue eyes, brown hair with blonde highlights. She has tattoos on each of her wrists. One says Isaac, the other says Trent. A star diagram from shoulder to shoulder and the name Trent with a baby foot on her right foot. Jones was diagnosed as bipolar and schizophrenic and is not on her medication. We are pursuing this because we love her so much. And we're going to continue to do this until we find her. The family is asking anyone with information or anyone who has seen her bright pink car to please contact law enforcement immediately. Now, they also started a GoFundMe uh, with hopes of raising money to offer as a reward for any information that leads to Jones being found. In Atlanta, Janice Yu, Fox 5 News.